Hi, I'm Andrew Hazelden. In this video, I'd like to present an overview of the Dome Master Photoshop Actions Pack. This suite of tools is designed to help Photoshop artists work with panoramic and full dome imagery. Let's start by displaying the Actions tab. Open the window menu in Photoshop and select Actions. If the Actions tab is closed, click on the triangle-shaped icon to display it. This window displays the active Photoshop Actions. An action is a custom tool in Photoshop that saves artists time by automating repetitive tasks. Let's dock the Actions tab with the rest of the palettes on the right-hand side of the screen. Click on the word Actions and drag the Actions window frame until it locks in place next to the other palettes. At this point, we can load the Dome Master Actions pack in Photoshop. Click on the Actions pop-up menu and select Load Actions. We can use this dialog to select the action files. Navigate to the Dome Master Photoshop Actions Pack folder. Open the folder labeled Photoshop Actions. Select the four action files and click the Open button. The new Dome Master Photoshop Actions are now visible in the Actions tab. To make it easier to run the actions, let's switch to the button display mode. Open the Actions pop-up menu and select Button Mode. This mode shows each of the actions as individual buttons that can be run with a single click. Each of the Dome Master action categories has a unique color. The conversion actions are blue. The general utilities are violet. The masking and selection tools are green. And the transform tools are yellow. We can adjust the number of columns in the actions window by shrinking the width of the palette. To do this, move your cursor over the left edge of the Actions tab. When the cursor icon changes, drag the Actions window to the right to view a single column of buttons. Let's try out a few of the conversion actions which are colored blue. I'm using the sample image called 360DegreeFisheye.jpg for this example. This image is a 360-degree angular fisheye rendering. We can convert this image from a fisheye format image into a latitude-longitude image projection using the action labeled Angular Fisheye 2, 2 to 1, Equirectangular. The Angular Fisheye image has been converted into a spherical panorama with a 2 to 1 aspect ratio. Let's zoom the image out so the document fills the view. If we wanted to change the front-facing part of the panorama, we could scroll the image using the horizontal offset action. Scroll down to the Actions tab until the yellow-colored actions are visible. We can slide the center of the panorama view to the right by clicking on the yellow-colored action labeled Horizontal Offset 1024 Pixels. This has scrolled the panorama to the right by wrapping the pixels around the right-hand border of the image. We can continue to scroll the image with the Horizontal Offset action. Click the button a few more times to see the effect. We can use the Guidelines Actions to check the alignment of the horizon. Scroll up to the Violet Colored Actions. Click the 2x2 two two Guide Grid Action. This action has added a few guidelines to the Photoshop document that can be used for snapping or alignment purposes. To remove the guidelines, click the Clear Guides Action. To convert this equirectangular image back into the angular fisheye format, we can use the 2 to 1 equirectangular to angular fisheye action. It's possible to reverse the camera view in an angular fisheye image using the inverse angular fisheye action. This has the effect of pointing the fisheye image 180 degrees backwards by rolling the inside area of the fisheye to the outside of the frame. This effect can be undone by running the inverse angular fisheye action again. Let's apply a circular mask to the fisheye image. To start with, we need to convert the flattened background image into a floating layer. We can do this with the violet colored background to layer action. Now let's apply the green colored fisheye layer mask action. This has created a new layer mask that has hidden the black border. Let's try converting between several cubic panorama formats. Close the current Photoshop document. From the File menu, select Open. Select the vertical cross image and click Open. 
This is a panoramic image that uses six cubic faces in a vertical cross arrangement. Let's convert the vertical cross image into a layered cubic format. Click on the blue colored action labeled Vertical Cross to Cubic Map. This action has extracted each of the six cubic faces from the image and placed them on separate layers in a new Photoshop document. Let's make the preview icons larger for the layers. Double click on the Adjustments tab to collapse it. Right click on the Layers tab. In the pop up menu, select Large Thumbnails. This has increased the size of the thumbnail previews for the layers. To view each of the layers in the main view, we can toggle the layer visibility in the Layers tab. Click on the eye shaped icons next to each of the layers to toggle the visibility. Let's hide each of the layers and then show them again. Now let's try converting this layered cubic map panorama into several formats. Let's start with a 3x2 cubic layout. Click on the blue colored cube map to 3x2 cube map action. We need to zoom out a bit to see the full image. The document has been converted to a 3x2 cubic panorama format. In this format, the panorama faces are arranged with three images at the top and three at the bottom. Let's convert this image back into a layered cubic map. Click the 3x2 cubic map to cube map action. The panorama has been converted back into a cubic layered Photoshop document. Now let's try converting the layered document into the mental ray horizontal strip format. This format is used when you want to render cubic environment maps in Autodesk Maya or Softimage with the Mental Ray MIB Lookup Cube 1 Render Node. Click the Cube Map to Mental Ray Horizontal Strip action. This has converted the layered document into a new image with six horizontal images in a single row. If you're interested in using spherical or cubic environment maps with Mental Ray for Maya, I recommend you check out my Python script called Mr. Environment for Maya. Thanks for watching this overview video. I hope you enjoy using the Domaster Photoshop Actions Pack.